narrow hallways, overfilled classrooms, and too many students. These are the things the students who use the Annie Richardson Bass Building will not have to worry about in the fall of 2014. The addition and renovation of the Bass Building will directly affect nursing students by allowing them more space to have real life hospital practice in their simulation labs. It's especially become problematic in our labs because we're in fundamentals lab all the time and they're limited to how many students they can have in each one. Bass building needs more room without a doubt because there are a lot of other programs in Bass uh, other than nursing. I know like social work is in here as well and so nursing students need more room to practice. We don't always have enough desks in our classrooms for all the students. Um, you know the program is getting bigger, it's more well known now and it, those are all great things but you know, sometimes our classes are really crowded. The simulation labs help students prepare for hospital work by using real equipment and working on practice mannequins. Simulation education is a, is a trend and uh, continuing to, to grow in its popularity and in its, its requirements basically for clinical education in health professions programs. The current lab has outdated equipment and does not have enough room to hold all 700 nursing students. The new addition will have two whole floors dedicated to just the nursing labs. Get into actual nursing, there's a lot more um, technology and computerized things. And right now in the Bass Building, we're still doing like paper charting and things like that rather than electronic charting. So I think it just really helps you prepare you for the actual hospital experience. So having the same technology used in the hospitals, it's just going to make us more confident. Junior Annie Bow said the simulation labs are what set TCU's nursing program apart from the other programs she looked at. And not all universities are blessed enough to have such an enhanced and diverse sim lab like we have. Dean Paulette Burns said the addition of the new and larger simulation lab is crucial for nursing education. There's been a nursing shortage that's been going on for about the last 10 or 12, 15 years. And um, all programs across the country um, have increased their numbers of students in those programs and TCU is, is uh, the same way. We've more than tripled our number of students in our undergraduate program since the year 2001. The building will have a 70 percent increase in the space availability for students and faculty. Get oxygen. I'm gonna lower the Morgan Welch, TCU News Now. No pulse.